This is Gerardo Del Real with Resource Stock Digest. Joining me today is the CEO of Riley Gold, Mr. Todd Hilditch. Todd, how are you? Great to have you back on again. I'm great. Thanks, Gerardo. Thanks for having me back on. Well, listen, the last time that we spoke, we chatted about the regional earning activity. There were several deals, one in particular that was really, really beneficial to the region and the area. And you had some news last week that was a little bit more specific to your project. So listen, it's great to be an area play and the whole closeology thing. We've seen people do that over and over. That's not what Riley is doing. Riley looks to have a very, very prospective project. And I have to say, when I said it off air, you're doing all the right work to set the table for what, what I think is going to be a phenomenally exciting drill program here. Can you walk me through the latest release with the new prospective zones that were discovered at the project? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'll take a half a step back first and just a, a tiny little touch on um, on the last time we spoke, which was, you're right, the regional sort of activity around uh, our uh, Pipeline West project. So Barrick slash Nevada Gold Mines uh, has now surrounded us out there on an earn in. So, yeah, we're sort of the meet in the middle, if you will, or the, you know, surrounded by, you know, 35 million ounces of gold off to our south south uh, east so um, I don't want to downplay the fact that we're in a good perspective area on our pipeline west clipper project um, but the news release that we uh, released in the past week is very specific to Tokop. Um, as you know we've done some drilling we've done some high grade sampling at surface we've got some drill results that show um, high grade gold subsurface um, but it was time for us as we're waiting for the remaining nine holes to be assayed and, and taken to the market was okay we're, we're focusing on sort of a kilometer kilometer and a half by a kilometer kilometer and a half in in our sort of regional uh, or very specific drilling and sampling um, now we want to look at the bigger picture where will we drill next where are we going to find you know the intersection of these structures which would typically be where you'd see sort of a pooling of fluid or, or gold so we have uh, implemented um, a geophysics program which we're uh, halfway through. Uh, we've got a mapping and sampling and soil sampling uh, program. We have another 200 samples that are give or take that are into the lab. Um, but what is interesting is is now that we've finished drilling the first iteration, it's allowed our geologists to get off the main area. And lo and behold, they found two very specific uh, parts of the property, um, a, two kilometers apart, but a kilometer each away from our drilling. And one of the areas happened to have a historic drill hole of over 12 meters of a gram per ton. So obviously, and that's under pediment. You don't mm. see there's very subtle things at surface that take you to this particular part. But our guys have been able to, you know, figure that out and, and track it down. So that's one area. And the other one, which is pretty cool, it's uh, off to the south southwest of our property and uh, from a kilometer away from the drilling, I should say. And it's a structural zone that it just it takes time to walk the land and find these zones. But it's a, a big intrusive. It's 100 meters or call it 300 feet wide. Hmm. Um, and it goes 500 meters or 1500 feet um, long. And that's it's 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 quartz veining. We see it at surface. So. You know, once you take our drilling, our mapping, our sampling, our additional samples, and then we see these kind of zones popping up and structures, um, you take it all together, we're going to put it into our, you know, our pot, we'll mix it up, we'll see how it comes out in terms of where do we want to drill next to find, a, you know, the deposit. And that's kind of where we're at now. O'Reilly has been very clear in its goal is to explore, not just, you know, behind the computer screen exploration, true boots on the ground exploration, and to use the geophysics and the geochem and the mapping to make a significant discovery. That's that's the end game here, right? Make a discovery and grow it. Absolutely. Yeah, it's nice to see gold at surface in veins and nice to get a beautiful, you know, half an ounce type material. Um, but we well, we're, we're looking for, you know, multi million ounce uh, type deposit. We're not we're not we're not just going to scrape the surface here. When do you expect the next set of results from the exploration program? Yeah, you know, uh, there's a few ways to answer that. From a drilling standpoint, the labs have been extremely slow. We, we're not going to batch these. We're going to wait for all nine to be completed. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping that's in the next 
four or five weeks. Um, the remaining results, I mean, sampling we, we get periodically that comes through the lab. Um, but the geophysics is really what we're kind of honing in on. Um, if we can get the second part of the program, the gravity, which will identify uh, gravity survey, which will identify sort of structure, we're hoping by uh, sort of December, in December, we would start to see that come together. So that's when we take layer one, add layer two, add layer three, and then layer four being geophysics. Okay, now we can figure this out. So I, I'd like to think that by year end, we're in a pretty good position to say, okay, we have an idea where we're going to drill next. And here's what the program should look like. Excellent. Todd, I'm looking forward to the results from the exploration program, the results that are pending, and looking forward to the next bit of drilling as well. Great. Thank you so much for having me today. Thanks for the update. Appreciate it. You bet.